Hello, everybody, and welcome to A Trailer Sailor Adventures. My name is Jacob Hammes, and this is the story of how I purchased and am upgrading a 1989 McGregor 26D. The D stands for Daggerboard. This is a displacement hole, so I won't be getting much speed from the 8 horsepower motor. It also is a water ballasted sailboat, which means I can trailer it and tow it wherever I want to launch from. Lucky for me, I live on the Treasure Coast in Florida, where the water is a beautiful shade of blue, the rivers are quite calm, and the sailing is beautiful. I picked up the boat from a man who was interested in sailing and kept the boat at a marina. The cost? $300 per month. After paying for one month, he decided that sailing wasn't for him after all. Now my boat sits on my property where I pay nothing. It also makes it easy to upgrade and work on the boat, something I wanted to share with you all. First project, a chewed up rudder. As you can see, the rudder doesn't look perfect. However, this is the glass parts, or the parts that I glassed over um, with the fiberglass repair for surfboards. And uh, it makes it pretty smooth and uh, watertight. I mean, it's made for surfboards. And the nice thing is, is that it cures in about five minutes outside. Um, eventually, I'll have to sand this whole thing down and start over, but for now, I'm not interested. So to stop my rudder from hitting the prop, I put this large whale tail on. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, however, you can see that it stops the rudder from banging into it at all. In fact, it sticks out a pretty good way. It says it's also supposed to help with speed, um, but I'm pretty sure that's just for more powerful motors because my eight horsepower isn't taking us anywhere fast. After we got those little essential repairs done, we took the boat out to Peck Lake. Sorry. The ice Sorry. Become walls. All right. Say hi. Hi. Griffy. Say hi. Griffy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a commercial. No. This holiday weekend almost proved to be too much for us. And here's a fun phenomenon where matter from the St. Lucie and Indian rivers bleed into the ocean, turning the beautiful turquoise green water into kind of a disgusting brown color. Uh, this day it was pretty bad. All the divers and boats pulled up anchors and headed out pretty quick. One of the issues I have is the lazarette keeps filling up with water, um, most likely because of this and some of this and this. And the best part <clears throat> is that my hole has separated from the bump uh, rail, the rub rail here, and I can actually get my hand up in there. So today what we're going to be doing is putting an access panel in here, which will give me uh, an access into this tiny little area over here to stuff it with styrofoam and hopefully hold this part out while I glue it. See how it goes. Easily five minutes later, and I have a hole. So one thing about the McGregors is that the hole is attached to the deck with a whole bunch of uh, little bolts that right? it's bolted on. So if I had never looked inside of here, I would never have known that, where are they? There they are. All the bolts have fallen off on this side. 
which means I can push this and guess what? Water goes in there and fills everything up. So there's the culprit, but now I'm gonna fix it. All right, now we have a line of four new uh, bolts in there. Well, the same old bolts, except uh, I use these kind of butterfly um, nuts to go on. And the uh, best thing is, is it doesn't move at all now. Yes. All right, so <clears throat> I put some butyl tape around the outside. I uh, just rolled it into a thin little layer. And then I made the hole almost perfect. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So now I'm gonna put some big screws in and then uh, I'm gonna seal around the outside with marine caulking and we'll be good to go. All right, the finished product is a nicely sealed access panel to where I can get in and um, access everything back here. Uh, my next project will probably be to fix this because now that I've done the uh, rub rail, I've realized that all of this is pretty rotten and lots of water is getting in here and uh, filling up the area when it rains. So, I'll see you guys next time.